Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, we will be seeing uh, how to set up a Open VPN server. Uh, and uh, this, uh, the name of the product is Easy Open VPN Server. So this has recently got updated on 14 December, and this is uh, very easy to set up. Uh, in contrast to other VPN servers, you don't need to uh, create your own certificate of authority and all that, all those things, which you need if you are installing Open VPN server uh, without using this easy Open VPN server. So let's uh, install this. So I am already logged in to my uh, cloud virtual machine. You can install this on any uh, Linux based uh, cloud VM. You can use DigitalOcean, Oracle uh, instances or uh, AWS EC2, any where you can deploy this. Uh, so this is my public IP of my cloud machine. So for installing this, you need to have uh, SNAP already installed. So you can also install this using APT. Uh, and then we are installing Easy Open VPN Server using SNAP. Enter. It is installed. Then we need to run this. So this is the, basically we will be specifying which is our public IP. And in this case, my public IP is this. Copy paste. Okay. So that's it. <laughs> it's uh, as the name suggests here, dead simple open VPN server. Now we are good to go and we can just generate uh, this open VPN configuration file and so if you can see this default.ovpn file is generated. Now we just need to transfer this to our client machine where we want to uh, connect to the VPN HTTP dot server and let's uh, run this on port 80 so for transferring this file I have just created a uh, simple HTTP server and we can connect this using the IP address of uh, my VM then we just need to download this downloaded show in folder the now uh, we just need to import this to our uh, open VPN so you can either right click here and import it to the VPN GUI <coughs> so by default it will be stored in this location C users PS open VPN so PS is my current user open VPN and uh, then config folder so if I show you that as well PS uh, open VPN config and here is the OPN file and we can just now uh, right click on our open VPN and click on connect And we are connected. So if I run what is my IP.com, so you can see this is my IP of the uh, cloud machine. So let's close this server now. So uh, 
so basically we are a, we are connected to the vpn and uh, the traffic uh, the internet which we are using on this uh, machine is uh, being routed through the vpn server running on this machine so that's it this is <laughs> very simple to set up uh, vpn server this is the most simplest one which i have which i came across and uh, you can do other things as well you can create multiple clients so if i show you the help for this minus h minus minus h minus minus help so uh, you can list clients remove client show client add client so let's see uh, by default i think only one client will be there list clients yes so only one user is uh, created by default when we installed this vpn server we can add clients using add client command uh, and then name of the client if i am correct yes add client and name of the client yes so you can follow this okay uh, to also you can change the port numbers on which uh, this vpn server is running so by default it uses uh, udp port uh, 1194 so if i show you that as well let's start net state minus LNTUP uh, so this is for listing the services which which are listening on uh, UDP or TCP ports U is for UDP uh, T is for TCP L is for listening P is for uh, I think processes not not sure uh, yeah so for UDP it is listening on uh, port number 1194 for TCP it is listening on port number 443 by default and if you want to specify on which port uh, or which protocol it should use so you can make modifications in this so you can remove this UDP line from here uh, or this if you want to use so let me disconnect this so if you want to use TCP you can remove this uh, first of all we don't need these so th because this is not our not our IP of the VPN server uh, we can remove this UDP line or you can just uh, comment this no need to remove it no need to remove this so save control s and connect <coughs> so now this will connect to the tcp uh, port connect to the tcp port 443 on our vpn server so now this is using tcp yeah so for that that's it for this uh, demonstration i hope you like it this is very very simple VPN server thank you for watching